Okay, bro, it's people's person, like, not, like, they're very, for, like, this, they haven't been doing it for a long time, but they yeah. be, like, in good positions and shit. Like, you know what Westside Web is? No. He's, uh, he's from Compton. He be doing shit with, uh, Steady Hendrix. We just had Hendrix out here. And, uh, he be doing shit with, like, him, Anderson Park, like, a oh, bunch of people. Shit. But this fool's first show was in Arizona, like, with us. Damn. Couldn't even tell, though, nigga. Like, I, I would've known <coughs> that that was your third show. I wouldn't have known that shit. You and Brandon feed off each other really good. Oh, yeah. I only known Brandon for, like, a year. I met him, like, last year. I'm going to save the questions for interview. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fuck around ask him all right now. You're good. I'm recording on main. Nigga, I needed a spike because of that fucking apple cider vinegar is fucking my chest up. <laughs> Good, we back with another definition, an active episode, you know what I'm saying? We got the citrus sound in this building. Yes, sir. Uh, Got my boy Sheer here. He just did his fucking thing last night, man. Coming straight from Cali, showing us love. We appreciate Sir, you, man. How you got doing, you, bro. Man? Good. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. I love every time we can bring somebody from somewhere else out here, man. Yeah. It's just like it's a different dynamic, you know, different view. And like I know last night's show was cool, but like it's good practice too. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh yeah, yeah. So like, but yeah, man. Tell me how you started making music. Tell me Damn. how you got your name too. <clears throat> my name? Yeah. All right. So I gotta start back. So I started making music. Like five years ago, Damn. so like I'm 24 now, but I was making me. I was like started like when I was 19. My my boy Jordan, he you like from Orange County too. Yeah, I'm from Orange. Okay, County. Bet, bet, go ahead. So I like graduated high school and like Damn. was just chilling, and then uh, my friend Jordan and his brother Nick got like some cracked version of Logic, and like mm. they started just like fucking around and like making like songs and shit. Jailbreaking them motherfucking. Problems. I never thought like I didn't know how to rap. Damn. I didn't even think about making music. I like, I was like, all my whole life I was just playing basketball. And I was oh, like, okay, I'm going to go to the sure. league. I'm going I'm to I'm go to the league, play basketball. What's your favorite scene, Lakers? I'm a Lakers fan. Let's go. All day. Let's go. You all see day. that? You see that? <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. But uh, I didn't grow tall enough. So <laughs> I kind of was just like, all right, I'm just going to go to school after high school and figure out like what the fuck I'm going to do with my mm -hmm. life. And then they started making music, and I was like, let me just try and like, you like that shit. I didn't like it at first. I was horrible. What did you like about it? Like, the I didn't like my voice. Oh, okay. I didn't like my voice. I couldn't like stand my voice. So like, I was drowning my voice in like hello auto tune. I still couldn't stand it. No, but I was like, this is kind of cool though. Like, let me like keep trying because like, my homies are doing it. It was like for fun, you know. Try to find the right <clears throat> beats, huh? Not even like the right beats, but like, cause like we were all, we were learning how to do everything. Mm. Like we no none of us knew how to like do anything. So like we were like let's just keep doing it for fun. Self teaching yourself. Pretty teaching. much. Yeah. And then um, I actually my first I didn't share isn't my first uh, stage name. It's uh it was Molly. Molly. Yeah, it was my so like my real name is Muhammad Ali. Oh, that's and then, Yeah, and then so I took the first initial the M and then my last name Ali A L I, mm. and then I was running like that. For like a couple years. That's actually clever as fuck. I, I thought it was cool. I thought it was cool at first. That's just tight. But then people started asking me if I was doing drugs. Like he's like, yo, you do Molly? It's because they're not thinking about how it's spelled. They're yeah, they didn't. Scared. They weren't thinking about like, uh, just like it's my name. You should make a song called Molly if you haven't already. Nah, I don't think I. Just to talk about that shit. Yeah. That'd be fun. That'd be fire as fuck. <laughs> but nah, I, I ran with it for a couple years, and like a lot of my old SoundCloud stuff is like Still is Molly. Cool. It's all over there. And then one day I was at like I was at my homie's crib and like we were like cooking up some shit and like I just kept telling them I was like bro I, f I hate my name <laughs> I, I was like I gotta change that shit and then uh, he they were just like we were just like talking about like my middle name because my middle name is Bashir okay it's my dad's first name that's hard and then uh, someone said you should be like Sheer Sheer and I was like. Yo, that's kind of fire. What does Cher mean? Does it, does it mean There's anything? definitely, I think there's a meaning. I've never looked it up. Like, Bashir probably means something. Huh? Yeah, Bashir yeah. means something. Yeah. Uh, I think it might be, like, the messenger of God or something like that. I forgot. I probably was my dad that's about that. Dope, but, yeah, that's your dad. That's hard, though. But no, no, no. So, like, I was like, you know, that's kind of fire because, like, 
I like the way it sounds. It's like short. It's like four letters, yeah. and then like it's part of my dad's name, so like he'll always be a part of my shit. So it's a part of your part. So that <clears throat> both of your names were like authentic. Like these are my names. It wasn't like I went to like a generator or like a Mason nah. Or none of that shit. I, That's hard. I just kind of like it's kind of yeah. It kind of just worked out like that. I I never wanted to be like a like a little or like a like a young something because yeah, like especially like when I started it was like the SoundCloud age where everyone was popping Damn off like shit. everyone was like a little Uzi a little like Yachty and then you gotta stick with that till you get older then what do you do you change it or just change like so I was like nah I'm just gonna like <laughs> also like all like the the top like the top dogs like Drake and like they got little Travis little like you you just know them from like a one letter and even if they have like two names like two mm -hmm. words in their name it's like you know Travis even though Travis Scott. You or like your name to stand out was strong like yeah. that. Yeah, I like that. That's hard. I it's good that. branding too. Yeah. So when so nice and is not your first project then. Nah. So I had like two projects. This is my first project in like two years. Um, like when I first started, like the, the first year I dropped or uh, started making music, I put out a five like song EP okay. on uh, SoundCloud called "Thanks for the Love." Okay. Terrible. It's not. I don't like it. I can't hear you making terrible music. That shit was fire last night. I've seen you. I've just seen mad performances, mm -hmm. like, like footage of you performing and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Well, that's all like the new stuff. Like See? I never like put any of that. Like I never performed before that, and like I never performed those songs. Like Damn. it was kind of just like I wanted to see what making a project was like. Cause like I like something about me. Like I love making projects, and I love like making like worlds. Like yeah. all this shit is like just like building something. Like it's like being creative and like building like a world that's how i treat everything i'm that's like yo this is like because i'm really big into like comic books and like uh tv shows and movies and like a lot of like the like a lot of people like look at me like oh he doesn't like like star wars or like marvel or anything like that and like i've been my life like since i was like two that's fire but yeah i have a lot of love for that yeah i love i I'm about, about to go see Black Panther tonight. I'm about to see it next week. <laughs> we were talking about that in there. Yeah. Ray saw that shit. Like, he was like, it was fire. Oh, yeah. I, I can't talk to Ray about it, man. Nah, he said, <laughs> I he said it was no, good. I try to get no spoilers in that yeah. shit. <laughs> That's what's up, though. So, every time you're building a project, or even probably songs, too, even you're trying to make sure you're putting people into, like, you're bringing them into, like, a PC or world. Mm -hmm. That's fire. That's hella fire. So, what's the game plan uh, with 1988? Why'd you name it that? <clears throat> um... Cause that's not when you were born. No, no, I was born yeah. in 1998. But uh, so like the story of like 1988 is like we have this character named Gizmo. Okay. He's a little robot. Like he escaped from prison and like uh, he lived in this like dystopian like future. Okay. And like he like broke into like this prison and like or he broke out of prison and then got this time machine. Yo, she got real lore behind that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to like I'm big on lore. Go ahead, go ahead. He's got hard. this like time machine where like he uh. He was trying to escape, and, like, there was, like, this big, like, you know, like, chase scene. And, like, if you imagine, like, a movie, like, it's just, like, he escapes, and, like, shit fucks up. And then he ends up in, like, the year 1988. Oh, shit. And then that's where, like, the, the project starts. And then he uh, ends up, like, each song's supposed to feel like he's in a different time period, trying to end up back home. So the project from the perspective of Gizmo? <clears throat> yeah, like, he's the first, like, uh, like he's the first thing you hear in, like, the, the, the problem the song starts, like, the project starts. You hear Gizmo, and you, like... Every song, like, it feels like you're traveling with him to a different world, and, like, it feels like you're in a different dimension, and, like, I'm really big on, like, just, like, sci-fi and stuff like that. So you gonna get like, some Gizmo merch? You gonna make, like, Gizmo plush? Yeah, I'm trying to make some, like, hats. Or hats? Yeah, I'm trying to work on some hats. Things, like, Gizmo bobbleheads or That'd be fire. I got bigger you plans, play, you like... You can play with that shit a lot. Yeah. Because you, you're... That's... You're showing you're an artist, <clears throat> not just a rapper. Yeah, I mean, like, the story kind of... I built the story afterwards, because I was, like... I need a project with like show songs. Like I need a set list because yeah. I didn't have a set list. I only had maybe like most wanted. Okay. So I was like, I need to build a project where it's just like we're gonna make people sweat the entire night. And like we were like, you know, like it's kind of boring if you just play. I I don't like albums where like there's nothing going. Like it's just songs. Like I'm just listening. You can to a bunch tell of music. they're not good live either. Like they're just songs, just by yourself. Shit. I hate, mm -hmm. I hate albums like that too. I like to turn up. That's why. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm a. Tra big Travis Scott fan. Like, that's hard, bro. That's hard. Came... Travis Scott's man, he makes worlds. Yeah, you like, know what I mean. I get the comparison a lot, but like, I I, I don't really feel the type of way about it because like, obviously, like he's he's somewhere where he's at, or like, he is one of the top dogs. You know, I'm gonna take his part. Travis Scott is like the I like how he markets himself so much to the point where like he's like how supreme is with shit. They gonna slap mm -hmm. their shit on shit. 
Yeah. And then the price goes up. Facts. That's how that fool is. Like, there's not even too many artists that are like that. It's like him and Kanye. Yeah. Like, that's know. another one. That's <laughs> another one where I like, that's another one of my inspirations. Yeah, I love Kanye, man. That's what's up. That that actually like shows me like a dope perspective of where your music comes from now. Yeah. I was like, I was wondering, especially like with your age too, like what are your influences? But now I know like Travis, like yeah, yourself, just mm -hmm. your life in general and shit. Well, I didn't listen to rap uh, until I was like thirteen. For real? Yeah, I got like African parents. Like they were like super strict. Where like, Africa you from? Somalia. That's what's up. Yeah. Too. So like they weren't like too big on me like listening they to like rap and stuff like that. Shit. Like. So, like, I was, like, growing up listening to, like, the radio, and, like, I was listening to, like, Katy Perry and shit. And, like, Blink-182. Katy Perry got bread. Yeah. <laughs> now, I was listening to a bunch of, like, like punk rock and, like, pop music. Top 40 and, like, shit. Like, pretty much, like, yeah. it's just singing music. Yeah. And then, like... That's good music, though. No, it is good music. Yeah. I think, it, like, it helped me a lot, like, melodically. Fuck yeah. And then, like, when I, I think I was, like, 13, I, I listened to Lil Wayne for the first time. Oh, and it kind shit. of just, like, changed my life. For that to be the first person you listen to is amazing, because Lil Wayne is the best. No, he's literally my, like, he's top, a, he's my he's favorite rapper of all time. He's a fucking like, bass. That's how you're supposed to get introduced to hip-hop. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get introduced to, like, Lil Pump or anything. I got Lil nah, Wayne. Nah, fuck, that's trash. <laughs> no, <laughs> literally. <laughs> get Lil, Lil Wayne. That's the only one who's little is valid. No one cares if he takes it out or not. You Facts. know what I'm saying? That motherfucker, man. He's had people happy that he remixed their music. Bro, for real. I've never seen that since then. Like, no. he, people just feel blessed that he killed your shit better than you killed your shit. Honestly. Like, that shit don't happen no more, bro. No more. He's one of one. That's crazy. They don't even do remixes like that no more. No, that shit all stopped. That shit's crazy. crazy. Damn, bro. Mixtape era, man. One of the best eras of hip hop, man. For real. Shit's gone. That's dope, bro. So, how do your parents feel about your music? They don't really, like, pay attention to, like, what I do. Like, for real, like, they kind of just, like, I, like, went to school, did what I did, and then, like, they just, like, kind of, like, leave me be. Like, I, I have a job. As long as you ain't getting in trouble and shit. Yeah, I mean, as long as, I, like, I'm, I'm I'm not in jail and, like, I have a job, I mean, I got money, so, like, that's all that they care about. You can speak Somalia, like, fluent? Nah. Uh, I understand it. Mm. Uh, I can speak it a little bit. I used to speak it with, like, a little bit with my grandparents, because, like, um... They don't speak English, mm. but I fully understand it. It's because like I, I was the fir I'm like the first one born in yeah. America, so being first generation, like my parents like wanted me to like focus on like school and like they taught like English first and like all that stuff. Yeah. So like I kind of never never got the chance, and even if they did, like it kind of just never worked out like that way where I would fully speak it. It'd be so crazy one day to have uh, some Somalia inside your music or something to go to Somalia to do a concert or some shit like there, that. There there was one dude who uh blew actually like I think his name was Kanan or Kanan. I think I know what you're talking about. He had that like the big World Cup song. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was like the only one ever like from Somalia like Damn. make like make it some way. Seems like it's wide open. No, no, it is like it's not a big like music scene. I know Simbo can make beats like that too. Simbo? Yeah. Like, I don't even think Simbo's from Somalia. No, I know he's not, but he can make beats like that. Mm -hmm. I got some on my phone. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, hopefully one day like it's, there's a lot going on over there, but hopefully one day I'd be able to like do something because like it's a lot like. I think Simbo's first generation too, isn't he? I think so. Yeah, that's yeah. why I just want to bring that shit up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's that perspective is crazy. Come, like having your family come from a different country, like y'all can't, y'all didn't come over here playing around. You know what I nah. mean? So like I know, like you make a decision to make music, it can either go like we're down with it or we're not down with it, like all the way type shit. So it's kind of like they just like, I don't even think they really know. I think they kind of just like, just like come home every night safe and sound. Don't know when you pop off when you blow up. They gonna. Know. That's a different. That's a that, <laughs> that's a different thing. But like, I kind of just like do my own thing. My parents like can't leave me alone at this point. How you think it's gonna go when you pop? Cause it's gonna happen, G. So how how you think it's gonna go? Honestly, as long as there's a check in my hand to give them, like, <laughs> yeah. I don't think they got a problem. That's what's up. As long as I can give them like some money, like that's the my that's the biggest goal for me. It's like get that check and then be like here, like thank you. That's hard, G. So what uh, what are our plans that we have after 1988? Uh, keep doing shows. Keep uh, I'm working on some like alternative shit right now. Okay. I'm probably All gonna right. try to drop beginning of the year again. Keep pushing this tape. Um, doing pretty good right now, and then uh, just more shows, more music. Working out. I got like two other projects in my head, like two more worlds I'm trying to build. So that's hard. It's the same say thing. Like that. That's it's the same. It's the same shit. That's fire. So uh, what advice would you give to an independent up-and-coming artist like that? 
You uh, say you have a job, so I'm going to ask you about that. Like, you make sure you got your bread right, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, what advice would you give them? Let's say if they wanted to either, like, move to Cali to try to pursue their music career. Mm-hmm. Like, is it easy for you because, like, you're from you're from Orange County, like, to be able to bud in Cali? Like, No, actually. It's actually, like, really hard because there is no music scene. Mm-hmm. And, like, every, most people who, like, make music... I found it really hard to, like, work with anyone over like in Orange County specifically just because like they don't take it serious like it's yeah. like kind of like a game to them like because it's, it's mainly like a lot of white people especially yeah. like, where I live so like to like find even someone like a Brayden like it was like it's not easy it, it was like rare to like find people like Malad and like Bray yeah, and like fact. just people who like actually like give a shit and so like I think a lot of people like are starting to realize like what we're doing because like it's kind of like been an open like there's no music scene, so like we're kind of like be the ones starting something, and like we're actually like making some moves. And Which is fire. Yeah, no, there's only been like one guy. His name's Aries, but like he's not even a rapper. Like he's like Damn. he does like hyper pop. Yeah, so like he's huge now. So like, but y'all laying the foundation for like like an know. actual like 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 a collective to build the sound of it. Yeah, that's hard. I mean, it's just like someone's got to do it, and like if it's not us, then like. It's probably never gonna be anyone else. Facts, you don't wanna let somebody else do it and they do it wrong. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Y'all definitely do it the right way, man. And we, we definitely appreciate having y'all here. This is fire, bro. I'm knowing this shit. No, yeah. Shit dope. Appreciate it. Let them know where they can find you at, man. Yo, uh, you can find me on Instagram and TikTok at Where Is Sheer. Uh, my Twitter is MohammedXX. And then my YouTube is Sheer Music. And I think that's it. You be wilding on, on Twitter, shit? I used to. I used to say some out of pocket shit. But now like I kinda like I kinda just like shit now. I don't really tweet. Yeah, but like I used to like I used to be one of those Twitter dudes. <laughs> oh, I just watch shit. some shit now. Hey, we happy to have you, bro. It's yeah, definitely bro. active. Appreciate Love shit. Appreciate shit. Just sound the building, man. Yes, sir. This is sound OC coming through this bitch. Just know that they came through here first to show us love. Yes, we sir. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> we out this motherfucker. Uh, hell yeah, dog. I love it. That's crazy.